All right, so the bent over row. So there's a few different ways you can do it. So you can see we're all set up and ready for you. The way I like to do it the most is just like this. So this box could be a little higher. It could be a bench, it could be, uh, as long as it's something sturdy, okay? So if you came up right now and you knocked my hand out, I'd fall forward. And so being in this, in this position, we're gonna get a little bit more core action. All right, I like my heels up, uh, although they don't have to be. So if you prefer to be here, that's fine. Um, what you wanna avoid is like starting a lawnmower, like really trying to crank it like this and rotate like that, no good. Be, under, be in control at all times. And it will look like this. As I'm pulling up on this one, I'm pushing my hand into the box. All right? That's for stability. You can also do the bent over rail if you do have two bells. You can do it just like this. You just wanna make sure those bells aren't too far out in front of you, all right? That's not, not gonna be good for your back, but you can alternate them. So you see me here, you'll never see this again in life, but these are two 6kgs because of the coronavirus, we had to give out all of our equipment. So, side view, looks just like this. There you go. And then another way to do it is bench supported on one side. Some people prefer this. Uh, again, this is for your back, right? But I'm pushing through the bench for stability um, when I'm doing that. So that's the bent over row.